brutally murdered in the name of the country's blasphemy laws. And you can see a longer version of Secunda Kamani's film on Our World on the BBC News Channel at 9.30 on Sunday night. The chief executive of the counter-extremism organization, Quilliam International. Good evening to you. What is your reaction to that film? Someone of blasphemy. Mm. Has that been a cover in many ways, blasphemy accusation? I, I think this is more than that. I think yeah. if you look at the actual blasphemy laws, normally very tolerant versions what the imams are saying here well one of the things we saw uh, i mean this wasn't this is the most recent one apart from the brailwi moderate sufi traditions or should we change there's people in this country that fear to say that still control a lot of mosques here in this country the blasphemy laws the problem isn't the appetite first of all uh, it's it actually can be dangerous you know if you look at the before finsbury park it's taken pressure from Downing Street and nearly two weeks of condemnation, but finally today, the leader of Kensington and Chelsea Council has resigned over the Grenfell Tower tragedy. Criticism which came from all sides, not least about the council's chaotic response and his refusal to admit they could not cope. Well, almost immediately after Paget Brown stepped down, the deputy leader of the council also resigned. Actual difference will it make to residents that Paget um, Brown has gone? Well, hopefully. The residents, but you talk about... Um, the fact that uh, people actually don't know or haven't been exercising. You have, for the last two years, been pushing for the residents because they had very serious concerns. Then actually there's a kind of feeling that the authority seems to know best. Not, not least because you don't have the same system of local papers and so forth that would actually dig out stuff, things that can change. And it's hard often to see what good could ever come out of such a dreadful tragedy. But the latest feature film to confront our insatiable carnivorous habits has been made not for the big screen, but by Netflix. And I'm going to be joined by the film's co-writer, John Ronson, in a moment, but first, a clip. Well, that's nearly all for tonight, but before we go, you won't have been able to visit a great ma maypole in London unless you were around in 1672. It was... Have a great weekend. Good night.